Welcome everyone to tablainfo.com. This is Ritesh. And what we have today, subscribe to my channel. Uh, my videos are making sense to you. Don't miss to hit the bell icon and then only you'll be getting the regular updates. So today the topic is, <coughs> sorry, the topic is uh, the difference between the calculated fields and table calculation. So you would have uh, made use of the both and maybe it is worth noticing the difference between the two and sometimes we don't even care about the difference. So today we are going to uh, discuss about the same. So let us go back to the slide. So what are calculated fields? Uh, calculated fields are created at data source level, it can be reused being a data source. These are more powerful for analysis and new column is added at data source. I'm not sure if you have noticed that or not, but then if we do that with the help of worksheet, that will make more sense. So let us first try to, this is so the other thing. Let me remove this. And let me create a calculated field saying sum of profit or maybe sum of sales say sum of sales and now I drag it to my view so this is my calculated field now if I go back to the slide and now if I go to the data source then five is sum of sales. So right now I'm at data source pane and I can see that it is created at data source level. That means if I publish this very particular data source then now I'm not logged in so this is the option. If I publish this to on my Tableau server, then this very particular calculated field will be available for my team members to make use. So that means this is more powerful for analysis because this is a data source level and once I create this, this is available for all the team members who are having access to that very particular data source and they can reuse this calculation and they can even change the calculation and again post uh, to the Tableau server. New column is added at data source with the calculated field that we have already seen. That is at the end. Sum of sales. Also, uh, notice that this AGG showing that this is an aggregate, aggregate calculation. Now coming to the, so this is all about calculated field calculated field which is making an impact at data source level. Now what if I make a similar calculation with the help of table calculation. So here there we had some of sales here we have profit so that doesn't matter anyhow maybe if I drag sale that you will be happy. Some of sales 179628 both are same but here you don't have any fields if I have dragged it to row to the rows it will not create any field over there you will not see the impact at data source as well so this is pretty local this is at view level and it will change according to the view these values will change according to the view for this uh, uh, it is worth knowing about the addressing and partitioning field and that's why uh, in, in this very particular video uh, in the just for use section I will be pasting addressing and partitioning fields a block and a video so that is just for you so now coming back to the table calculations so you know that drag and drop and uh, it will act according to the partition if you drag sales by 
default it will aggregate to some over there what else computes on the local data so we have seen that based on the current view only and virtual table this is the virtual table right just getting changed as per our uh, dragging and dropping or Hmm. Now, can we convert table calculations to calculated field? So, if I want to change this to, or maybe even I can show you the running total. So, if I want to make this as a calculated field, can I do that? Yes, you can do that. You can look, you can copy paste this and create a new calculated field, but then you have an easier option. You can just drag it over there. Now I can say this running total. Now I can see this very particular field at my data source since I have converted this to a calculated field running total. So this is the difference. If someone asks you the question about the difference between the two, I hope you will be able to answer. Uh, yeah, link I'll, I'll paste it in my YouTube description. Again, subscribe now if my videos are making sense to you. Uh, see you till we meet the next time. Thanks for watching this video. Like it. Ah, uh, yeah. If you if you like the video, do uh, do, do like it and uh, uh, do post your comments if you want me to make video on a particular topic. Uh, just let me know about that. You will have a contact section at my YouTube description as well that will help you to contact me as well so thanks for watching this video take care bye bye from the